Hi Glamour, I'm Nick and I am one half of Glamour's Woman of the Year for YouTube 2017. Thank you very, very much. And today I'm here to show you how you can get red carpet ready. Firstly, I'm going to make sure my skin is well moisturised. I have got a Charlotte Tilbury uh, magic cream and I'm going to just work that over my skin. You do not have to use a brush. I'm just using a brush because I'm going to use it for the next three steps anyway. Then I'm going to take a little bit of Radiance Activator. This one is by Estee Edit. I'm going to pop a bit on the back of my hand. This is my go-to primer and radiance cream because it just gives a lovely glow to the skin. Then in with a little bit of creme de la mer. Lip balm. Just onto my lips so that when I come to put my lipstick on, they're really well nourished. I think that's quite an important step. I'm going to leave that to really work into the skin and move on to eyes. I'm going to take a little bit of NARS concealer. This one is in the colour Custard. And I get really dark in here, so I'm going to run that just in here. And then take a nice domed brush. Just going to buff that into that inner corner. This is great for those people that get a very deep socket. I then want to put some eyeshadow onto the eyes and I'm going to start with a cream one. This one is Estee Edit again actually and it is called 08 Meteor Shower. So I'm going to take another deluxe crease brush and just buff that over the lid. Then I'm just going to tip that up. And under here you have like a little pigment. I'm going to take some of that with the same brush. We don't need to use a different brush. Just push that over the top so it adds a lovely slight shimmer takes a bit of getting used to not having your foundation on already because you feel like oh this just looks really crazy but you'll get used to it and actually in the long run it's worth it because your makeup won't fall down so it will look nicer for longer. I then want to take a little bit of brown eyeliner. This one is Charlotte Tilbury and um, the classic powder eye pencil. It's in a really really dark rich brown. I'm going to run a tiny bit here, a tiny bit here, a tiny bit just on the top waterline. Take my brush that I use for the eyeshadows, just to buff that in. It's such a soft pencil, which is why I like it, that it just disappears after just a few strokes. It's, it's buffed in and blended. It makes life very easy. Mascara, I have got YSL Volume Effect Mascara in Noir Radical. It's my favourite. Then I'm going to move back onto foundation. I have got matte face and body. Make sure you shake this well. I tend to use two colours um, and mix them both together. This is N2 and C7. And I put it on my body as well, especially on my legs. If my legs are going to be out, I mix it with a bit of moisturiser. And I tend to go on the legs a little bit more of the darker colour with a touch of the lighter one. And on the rest of my skin, I'll use probably a touch more of the lighter one with the darker one. Just want my legs to be a bit browner. So, a little bit of... N2 with a dab of C7. Start from the nose and pull outwards. Now one of the important things is that this doesn't have an SPF in this foundation, so it photographs beautifully. You'll find that if something has an SPF in, it flashes back. So the SPF is what reflects and repels the sun. It's gonna do exactly the same to a flash on a camera. Back in with my concealer, my faithful NARS, under the eyes, down the nose, around here. And just take the same brush that I used for the concealer earlier, just to buff that in. Do you see how much of a difference it makes to do the eyes first? Because the foundation just looks so fresh and healthy. Right, another great little trick. Keep your concealer brush in your hand. Take the one you use for the eyeshadow. Buff the eyeshadows out with the eyeshadow one. And then if you feel like it hasn't blended perfectly, take your one for concealer and just run it over the top. And it just acts like an eraser and just tidies it up for you and does all the hard work. Then I want to shape my face a tiny bit. I have got this Dior blush and contour. I'm going to take the contour and just run it down here. Be sure to take it around the hairline and a little bit on the jawbone, if you feel you need it. Same brush as before, I use for foundation, and just buff that in. By using all the other products with the brush first, it's just allowing it to have a lot more slip and makes it easier for me to use. And by running the bronzer 
through the hairline, makes it more natural, it makes me look like I've got a bit of a tan, because I already said I like to use a darker colour on my legs when I put foundation on them. Before I powder, I tend to go in with a bit of bronzer. I have got this Hoola bronzer from Benefit and a new Real Techniques brush. This is a powder brush and I'm gonna take the Hoola and it will cling to where my skin has the shine, which I want. It's gonna give me a lovely tanny finish. Then for my favorite powder, this is the Charlotte Tilbury powder, airbrush flawless finish. It's beautiful. And I've got another Real Techniques powder blue brush, which I'm just gonna, I like the fact that the brush is small, it's really important, so you can work the powder where you need the powder. So under the eyes, little bit here, I don't wanna get too much of a flash there. On my chinny chin chin. Now on the other end of my Dior stick is a highlighter. So I'm going to actually take it off of the stick and use it with my fingers. So the stick might drag it a bit. So I just want to tap it on with my fingers. Tiny bit of that down here. A little bit of pixie cream blush again with my fingers to add a little bit of a rosy glow. And then gonna add a tiny bit of Estee Lauder Brow Multitasker just through the brows. Red carpet makeup is just meant to make you look like a better version of yourself, not like someone else completely. So don't go too heavy with any of it. Lipstick, I've got this Victoria Beckham Nude Spice Matte. This is MAC um, Plush Glass in Big Baby. And there you have my finished red carpet makeup. Thank you so much for watching and Glamour, thank you so much for nominating us for YouTube Woman of the Year. Take care and I'll see you soon.